Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the one of the basic but most important term that is vapor pressure. I have seen that sometimes students confuse that even engineers and the graduate one also confuse between vapor pressure, atmospheric pressure, right? Vacuum pressure. What is vacuum pressure? What is partial pressure? We are very confused about it, right? There is also so many other pressures, parameters, or you can see the reading as well, but we must know about it, right? So in this video, we will discuss that what is vapor pressure. We will understand the concept of the vapor pressure, right? And you will see that in your books, in your textbook, there may be the some notation of the vapor pressure, right? It may be like that. Okay. And it may be like that. Let's suppose like that, right? So it depends on the notation, which notation your test books author is using. So we will only discuss about the what is vapor pressure here. Okay. So the like, let's suppose if someone say you that if someone say you that there is the vapor pressure of the water, anything. Okay. This is the vapor pressure of the water in mm hg, right? Or in let's suppose in Pascal. So what is the meaning of it? You must know that. Are you getting my point? So that's why we will discuss about this term in this video, right? So let's start the video. So here I have written one definition that this is the definition of the vapor pressure, but we will come into this definition later. First of all, I want, I just want that you read this definition. Okay. So this definition is that it is the means it means vapor pressure right it is the pressure at which liquid is converted into vapors okay and here is one assumption you can see you can simply say there is one assumption that your vessel should be closed okay or you can say there must be a closed container okay if there will be a closed container okay that time only we can talk about the vapor pressure okay if it will be open channel or open system so we cannot discuss about the vapor pressure are you getting my points okay so let's discuss about it okay what are these what is vapor pressure what is all this we will discuss this later right first of all i just want that you must know that what happens when we boil a liquid okay in a closed container Let's suppose this is your one closed container. I am just writing here CC. Okay. This is your closed container and there is a water. This is my water, right? And you are heating this water. Okay. Let's suppose in your home, what we do, we simply heat the water. So what will happen here? And let's suppose before heating, there was the temperature was 20 degrees Celsius, right? Now, if you know the one term that is a saturation temperature, there is the one term that is saturation temperature. I hope you heard about it. Okay. And I hope you know about it. If you do not know about it, please check out our video. Okay. We have already covered what is saturation temperature because in this channel, we are covering the basics. Okay. If your basics are not good, then I think you cannot become a good engineer, doctor or any other. Like if you are in engineering background, if you are in science background, so there will be some difficulties for you. Right. So please focus on your basics. Right. So here what we have done this. The, let's suppose the water was at 20 degrees Celsius. We, we are starting heating it. Okay, what we are doing, we are heating it. So you will see that after some time at the surface of this, okay, because this is the surface of the water. So what will happen here? What will happen here? Let me change the color. So what will happen here? Your, you will see that here, the some, let's suppose it will start evaporating. Okay it will start evaporating. Now you will say that, sir, what is evaporation? So evaporation is nothing that your liquid will convert into the gaseous phase, you can say, or simply in the vapor phase means it will change the your phase. Okay. But 
the saturation temperature of the water is 100 degree celsius at 1 atm right but here the temperature is not 100 degree celsius it is let's suppose around 60 70 or 80 you can say right now here what we have done we are just increasing the we are just increasing the temperature let's suppose now your temperature is around here it was like 20 we have started heating it from 20 so what will happen that your temperature will increase slightly 20 25 30 35 36 then 40 45 50 like that right and let's suppose right now your temperature is around 70 to 80 or it may be like 90 right so what will happen that the rate of change of phase will be increased okay and this red one means this red one okay this red one molecules or you can say simply the vapors will be more and more right because you have simply increasing the weight okay and the heat like uh, you are giving the heat continuously so what will happen that your liquid will start evaporating more and more more and more more and more okay and at that time as well your saturation temperature is not achieved right so this is your evaporation okay we will discuss about it later just i i just want that please try to understand it what i want to say okay just i want to tell you that this is your evaporation this is your evaporation you so you must know that yes we know that evaporation is the change from the liquid state to the gaseous state that we know okay but when okay your liquid temperature must be less than the saturation temperature at that pressure you must know that got it my point now see here what is the evaporation what i have written here a simply evaporation is a change from liquid state to gaseous state but here i haven't discussed about the like saturation temperature right so this is your simply evaporation are you getting my point what i want to say means the liquid to gaseous state right and please understand one term as well that is condensation what will be the condensation here here in this case as we increase the temperature so the your rate of evaporation will be increase means your gaseous state means more and more vapor you can say simply will produce more and more okay the because weight of the weight of produce production of the vapors you can say or the weight of production of the gaseous molecules will be increased weight of the kinetic energy you can say simply the kinetic energy will be increased because temperature is increasing are you getting my point now what will happen in the condensation first of all understand that what is condensation condensation is a change from gaseous state to the liquid state okay if you want to like understand if you want to understand about the condensation in a better way so there is a one term that is a dew point you must know about it okay and we have already discussed about the dew point in our previous videos please check it out that as well now there it was our system okay and it is our state second now there it was our system right where there was the vapors okay and this was our water right now what we are doing here we are simply cooling it what we are doing here we are simply cooling it okay so and there is a one thing as well what will happen here as we will cool it so this vapor molecules okay this vapor molecules what what was happening here earlier you as you are increasing the temperature right so more and more vapor was generating okay and they were going away right and as they were losing their kinetic energy okay it was accumulating at the above okay they were they were accumulating above and after that they were just coming down why because their kinetic energy decrease okay and they were collapsing together and then condensing and coming down due to gravity are you getting my point now what we are doing here we are cooling it okay as we cool it so what is happening that their phase is going to change and it is going to from gaseous state to the liquid state and you can simply say from gaseous state to the liquid state okay and this is happening here 
right same terms like saturation temperature dew points come into the picture here right now see here okay because this definition is very very important which i want to tell you okay so please see here one thing when there is a condensation sorry there is a evaporation right and there is a condensation as well right as you will increase the temperature so your evaporation will be increased same your condensation will be also increased why because more and more vapor will be generated let's suppose till here there is the water there is a water right more and more as you will increase the temperature more and more evaporation will be there right but as that molecules will lose their kinetic energy it will convert into the liquid okay and this is condensation okay and there will be a one time and there will be one situation when your rate of evaporation okay rate of evaporation will be equal to will be equal to rate of condensation okay there will be a one time okay and this situation will be called the equilibrium this situation will be called the equilibrium now what i want to tell you that as see here as there were the your vapor molecules now this as okay and what am i saying that when the equilibrium will be there so what will happen that these vapor molecules will exert some pressure on the surface of this free or the surface of this liquid you can simply say okay these why these vapor pressure or these vapor molecules will exert a pressure on the like your free surface why the reason is that when evaporation of liquid takes place in a closed container so the vapor molecules accumulate in a free space that we have already discussed about right now these these vapor molecules exert a you simply you can say the partial pressure on the liquid surface okay this these will exert here are you getting my point what i what i want to say and this partial pressure of vapor molecules is known as the vapor pressure right are you getting my point what i want to say very very simple right because when you heated when you heat the when here you heat your liquid so what is happening that in that free space the vapor are generating okay and these vapors will exert some pressure right these vapors will exert some pressure on the free surface as well and these this pressure is called the vapor pressure and we as we have written here you can simply say in other words you can say that it is the pressure at which liquid is converted into the vapors okay and if you will say that sir what is the relation between the temperature and pressure so as your vapor pressure will be increased as you will increase the temperature why because the rate of evaporation will be increased here are you getting my point very very simple now let's consider that there is a water at 30 degrees celsius there is a water at 30 degree celsius at atmospheric pressure right and this is in a closed container this is very very important right if the pressure of the water is reduced by the let's suppose if you are let let's suppose if you reduce the if you reduce the pressure of the water by some means to some extent that it becomes equal to or less than the vapor pressure okay vapor pressure of the water at that temperature so what will happen that the boiling will start right the boiling will be start because at that time your saturation temperature will be different are you getting my point what you are doing you are simply reducing the pressure you are you what you are doing you are simply reducing the pressure right so at that time the boiling will be start okay and you will see that this is the region behind that in the hill station your water boils at the low temperature right okay so and there is one thing as well let's suppose if there is a one material that is x and it is a more volatile sometimes you have you will have seen that we say that this is the material x which is more volatile what it means more volatile means means its boiling point will be low 
ओके एंड समटाइम्स वी से डेट दिस मटेरियल इज ए लेस वोला टाइल वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस इट मीन्स डेट इट हैज ए हाई बॉइलिंग पॉइंट आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट राइट सो एंड सिंपली यू कैन से डेट इफ देर विल बी अम एंड नाउ वट विल बी द वेपर प्रेसर ऑफ इन दिस केस मोर वोला टाइल मीन्स हाई वेपर प्रेसर हाई वेपर प्रेसर एंड लेस वोला टाइल मीन्स लो वेपर प्रेसर right this is also very very important for you okay so if i summarize this video so what i can say if i summarize this video so simply i can say that if you heat any like liquid in a closed container so what will happen that the vapor molecules will accumulate in the free space of the in the container you can say so, right and these vapor molecules will exert a partial pressure on the liquid surface okay liquid surface means the free surface this surface right right this is very very simple this pressure you can say and this partial pressure because we are here considering the one molecule right so this partial pressure of the vapor molecules is known as the vapor pressure okay vapor pressure of that liquid got it my point so this is the vapor pressure i hope that you understood about the vapor pressure if you have any doubt in the vapor pressure term please let me in the comments box i'll definitely clear your doubt right so thanks for the this video if you have any doubt please let me in the comments box if you are new in this channel please subscribe our youtube channel and if you like this video so share this video with your friends so thanks for watching till then keep learning